Hey guys, it's MJ again, looking to do another Galactic War, not a wipeout today. Uh, just boosting up the crystals because I spent a ton of them. Uh, I think I had a thousand odd crystals, which to a free to play player is a ton of crystals by the way. Uh, and I spent a bunch of them on chromium packs because I was bored. And what a waste. Uh, I ended up getting Mob Enforcer. Woo! Got her twice. And I got 12 shards for IG86, I think. Disappointed is not the word. Like, it was a bad feeling. But yeah, doing a Galactic War here. Sped it up to get through the early rounds because they were just fodder. There's barely anyone worth fighting. Just went straight through people. Cut them up. And now we get to the good stuff. Uh, I went for a different approach later on in this actual battle. Because I change up the team a bit. And I end up not using Sidious as much during this one. This level gave me problems though. Uh, I think Princess Leia. I think it was either this level or one later. But Princess Leia gives me serious problems. I could not take this team down without losing a vital component of my team. I've been using Jedi Guardian a lot lately. Uh, free turn heal. So it heals and then it takes a free, free turns to cool down. Fantastic compared to the five turns I'm usually used to with old Daka and Luminara. And I've been using Dooku a lot. I got him to 5 stars. Took me about a week to unlock him and to 5 star him. Or maybe 2. That could be wrong, but it doesn't feel that it took me that long to do it. And I'm currently trying to 4 star Counselor, 5 star Geonosian Soldier and 5 star Qui-Gon. But as you can see, I ended up quitting this battle a lot. Trying to change the team composition. All sorts. And I thought, oh, I won't bring Counselor, I'll just take Sidious. But I've got to give some mad shout out to a guy from the Star Wars Galax... Well, Galax... Oh, I can't remember the name now. The name of the bloody game I play. Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Foreign Board on the EA servers. Uh, that was very good. Uh, let me go find his name. He was... Good help for this video, actually. Goes by the username. I think it was pretty much Tuft Paper 85. Uh, he recommended that I use Luminara, Daka, Counselor, Qui Gon, and Geo. Uh, mainly because those guys can heal, Qui Gon can do some damage, but as a leadership, Qui Gon's pretty good for that Jedi team. And as soon as I took that team out, I was like, oh. Let's bring out uh, Qui-Gon and put back Sidious. But, damn, I'm really starting to grow affectionate of Qui-Gon in Galactic War. I mean, there's some battles where I have to bring out the big guns just because they are required. But other battles, the chemistry between a certain team outweighs the stars and rankings of the opposing team controlled by the AI. Because the AI tends to have a pattern, and as long as you can get rid of certain danger men, which you can with Qui Gon, you know, Zine Soldier, and the faster speed ups, then it's fairly easy. I mean, Dooku's outstanding just for stunning Jedi. It's so annoying, and when he gets two guys, it's a fantastic bonus. It's unbelievable. And yeah, I think I let Counselor die, and 
I just rock on from here on out with Daka. Yep, there we go. I believe I end up quitting this and bringing in Qui-Gon because I didn't want to lose Dooku. Because the reason was with Qui-Gon I'd get faster speed with the Jedi to bring back Dooku but I was losing too many guys that I needed there and Sidious for the first time probably ever that gets dropped soon because he's always a mainstay of my team he just fits with anyone but then he doesn't stun people he can heal immunity people but I would rather have a stunner over someone who can cause heal block however there's times that heal block is just the best thing to have because certain people just keep healing and if I want to kill the other Sidious I send Sidious to go heal block him so we can take him down yeah and as you can see it gets easier in parts just blitzing people really I have sped up the video uh, by two times so you might notice that it's in a speedy kind of way Ventress, uh, she's fast becoming the bane of my existence. Uh, she just seems to hit me so hard. Uh, like if I kill someone, she gets boosted up, and because she's so slow, uh, she just does crazy amounts of damage. And there we go, we get lucky with Dooku being brought back. Luminara's health comes in, and I stun Ventress to stop her going psycho take down a debuffs and I wiped out Sidious in one shot then 8,000 crit from Luminara because I boosted up a force blast maneuver amazing <laughs> and from this point out it's pretty much this team until maybe the last two battles where I might lose people but I was just killing people with this team and I'm probably gonna use this more often it was fun to use, it gets the job done. Uh, if the other team gets a boost, I smack them with Qui-Gon to take it down and I get a offense up myself. Um, after I kill Daka, I tend to go for resistance pilot because he either gets foresight or he does crazy amounts of damage, but he's slow. But he is annoying. There we go, Vicky. I do get lucky with Daka's revives during this run. I would like to use it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Daka is either the goddess from above or she's like, when it comes to reviving people, he's like, yes! She revived, and oh, God's sake, why is she reviving people and you end up having to quit the match? You see me do that in an earlier battle where I wanted her to revive Dooku. She didn't, so I was like, well, 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 let's go quit and restart. Yeah. Whenever I see Dooku, I'm never sure how to deal with him. Uh, I either try and one-shot kill him, or, you know, save him for last, because if you can't kill him or seriously injure him, he just becomes a fawn in your side. You just can't take this guy down without him inflicting some damage. Because if you attack him, he'll counter attack. If he gets a bonus attack from that counter, he starts to boost up his turn meter, which by the time you know it, he's already constantly attacking you and attacking you before you can do anything. And that's what I love about attacking Savage is taking his abilities away and giving offense up to my team that's amazing if anyone's got him in their team just go attack him with Qui-Gon and boost your team up free offense up major downfall in Savage because if you take that away he's not gonna damage you as much but you get some offense up to go get his team basically 
Just a little tip for you guys when I use that. A little eye tend to do when I see it. And there goes my favourite man, Sidious. And when I saw this Jedi team, whenever I come up against the Jedi team, my eyes just light up because of Dooku. He is just a monster. <laughs> He just takes people down, and it's ridiculous. Especially Jedi, it's just stun, stun, ability black, ability black, stun. Like, you can do no wrong with the guy. And this is the last battle as well. It was quite an easy battle. I mean, it felt like after the update, Galactic Wall almost felt fixed. It felt easy in a sense like i did have my battles where i had to retreat but it felt easy in the sense that i was getting favorable matchups and before it used to be all crazy but i'm glad with that and as you can see i'm just farming for genos and soldier there and that's the end of that video guys so if you liked it keep on tuning in i'm releasing more content check out some of the other videos i've done and catch you later.